Look out world, the Fouch family is back. We had to take some downtime here to push snow around for the last month or so. And we had to take some real downtime last week because we had a sick kid. But the sun is out and we have projects. Nick is going to be making our shoe changing bench for inside our little enclosed porch here. From the side, you just see a plywood panel. Okay. And I am starting to work outside. The first area that I'm going to plant are these terraces here. We'll call this the spring garden. <laughs> the sun coming through the window. It's spring inside. All right, bunny rabbit's off my bed. What? Good morning. <laughs> That's a kid missing a tooth. Do you want to look under your pillow? Look. Under my pillow! Under my pillow! I got two credits! That means you got a half a dollar. Dad! Big girl. Let's get ready for our day, okay? Wait, what are you gonna do here? A bunny, of course. Well, I can Can we make two Little buddies? What is this here? What? A note? Uh oh, that's a lot of reading. Can you read it to me? Dear Sadie, congratulations. You have officially lost your fifth tooth. With love, the Tooth Fairy. Well, you Maybe know. she used my paper. I don't know, while I was sleeping. Maybe she don't tell one of your pieces of paper. Maybe. That tooth fairy's pretty awesome. Uh -huh. We're starting seeds this year with soil blockers. These make compressed blocks of soil and you just keep the, the seed in that soil as you transplant it. So you don't have to break apart any kind of plastic container. Um, and also this, the soil goes with the seed, which is really important for us this year because we have so much fresh chicken manure in our main garden. And that is not good for starting seeds. So having the seeds have their own little block of, of soil that they're traveling with will help us to be able to have healthy plants even in a nitrogen rich environment. We have a micro, this is three quarter inch square, and we have a mini, which is two inch square. These actually fit right inside of these. I mean, the finished blocks do. The soil block will fit inside of these. So we're doing our onion seeds all in the, in the micro, and then the ones that do well will be transferred into larger blocks before we put them outside. We because are rubbing dirt through a screen so that we have clean dirt to plant seeds in. Yeah, we don't want the sticks to be in there. Sticks bad, bad. And we pour them into this box. The recipe that we're following recommends that you screen the peat moss to get the big chunks out. And the girls seem to be enjoying that all right. Would you say that's kind of fun, girls? Yes. Yeah. It's amazingly fun. 
So how many yeah. cups do we need? Three of those. Three. So that's one. They're, they're half cups, so you're actually Mom. doing yep. one and a half and cups. And so sprinkle it out. Oh, all right. sorry. It's all right. Okay. Doesn't it feel like strange to have your hands in dirt, even if we did buy it all? It's, yeah, we would be like chickens. We would be chickens! I it's love this bird! I love it! I want to take a bath in it! We've got our soil mix prepared. We're gonna let it drink some water before we actually block it up and put seeds in it. And in the meantime, the kids are using our new enclosed porch to practice their whittling. All right. So do you wanna show people your Leatherman? It's a pretty cool tool and look at what it says. And on the other side, it's pretty neat and it's got a little carrying pouch, doesn't it? Yep. It's a pretty awesome thing for an eight-year-old to have, isn't it, Stella Bella? Mm -hmm. As usual, our rule is that they can use their own time as long as they use it productively. And yes, dressing yourself up as Tinkerbell and then drawing yourself dressed up as Tinkerbell does count. I'm fish. I'm Tinkerbell. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Put it. Not that much of a draw. Experience and age. And practice. Yes. Yeah, the age is the practice thing. You have Not to, necessarily. You have to have practiced for a while. Yeah, and you don't get better just by getting older, unfortunately, or I'd be good nah. at doing that thing. Nah. <laughs> you have to actually do the work to practice. I am not better at drawing than Milo is. She's not bad. I'm just saying, you're not better. <laughs> it's so true. Although you are. Nice at drawing. You're okay. I can, I can get my ideas across. Are. I'm not ashamed of myself. If you find any glacier lilies, tell me, and I'll come. I'll come and video them. Okay. I will. Should you be wearing a coat, honey? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now Nick is working away on his bench for our shoe changing area. Today I'm making the bench for the mudroom and it has three components. There's a slab top, um, steel base and legs, and then some plywood cubbies for shoes. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening today. We flattened the slab and sanded it. It's ready for oil. and I'll probably oil it a couple of times before it goes on the rest of the pieces. And I'm about to cut steel and make the steel base. I guess I've also started pre-finishing the plywood. I like to have a clear coat on it before I cut it up. We ready? Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. We'll see if I feel like cutting the beard shorter after this. <laughs> You're gonna wait till after to decide. Well. See how much it uh, sticks out. Okay. Uh, this might work. shoes on in the snow. Although we have spring inside, it is still winter outside. The kids went out looking for glacier lilies, which are the first flower that we have. We usually have lots of them bursting up right around Easter. Um, 
But they didn't find any, but I did because I know what they look like before they bloom. Hey, I'll bet this right here is gonna be a snow lily. I'll bet that's gonna be a glacier lily right there. Let's see. Wait and see if it is. In the grass over here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, put your sheet back on, please. It takes a little bit of force to get the soil in there. And I found that with my physical strength, I have to turn it upside down and kind of push it in like this. Nick is able to do it all in pretty much in one gesture, but I have to kind of push it in from the top. Um, and then it's really easy. You just set it out, boom, and then I come up. I like these machines. Do I we, like them too. Do we wash them? Well, I think we want to leave them without mud all over them, but the mud probably just comes right off. I can't attest to this recipe being the perfect recipe compared to others, but it's working really well. We got it from Elliot Coleman, who is the author of The Four Season Harvest, or I think it's just Four Season Harvest. Um, we used his recipe, and we found that it works best if it's pretty wet. Um, but you can see that wants to hold together really well. So we'll put the recipe down in the description for anybody who wants to um, who wants to see that. And we found that it wants to be wet enough that there's enough that there's a little water actually kind of squeezing out between your fingers. Um, oh, I just love I mud balls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish putting your seeds in, Cindy? Uh, yeah. They look good. Wait, did I? Yeah, this one is just, ah! Uh, did that one fall apart? But it's it okay. has a seed in it. Okay, we'll fix it. Milo patiently seeded every one of the tiny onion seeds into the tiny soil blocks. I'm doing tomatoes into two inch blocks. So here are 36 of the two inch blocks that I just seeded with Roma tomatoes. If every single one of them goes, I'll probably find a spot for all of them. But 36 plants is as many as I can imagine myself doing, especially since we also did some cherry tomatoes and um, we also did some ground cherries. So I, I think our first experience with soil blocks has been a success. What do you think, Sadie? Was it a success? You only have to put one seed in there um, because if it doesn't go, you just throw that soil back into the mix and try again. Um, and then you can put a little bit of the soil mix over the top and we'll water with a spray bottle. So I think so far so good. Good night, little house. Ha ha. 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 Oh, good Good night. How was your first day without your teeth?